I've been using essential oils for a really long time. I personally am drawn to more floral essential oils, but sometimes, sometimes they can get a little bit intense and you're not really feeling florals. And also we can be attracted to essential oils based on our skin type and our gender. So if you resonate with feminine energy or if you have dry skin, you might naturally be attracted to things like lavender or rose. If you resonate with masculine energy or you have oily skin, you might actually prefer like vetiver or a cedar. So we can use essential oils to prime our environment for like the, the energy that we want to feel. Or we can use them medicinally, like depending on what our issues are. So lavender is actually really helpful for sleeping. If you spritz a little bit on your pillow or you have um, an essential oil diffuser next to your bed with lavender, that can help you with sleep. Another way of using essential oils is by pressing them into our skin after we mix them with an appropriate oil. So I make my own facial oils and I use gua sha, like, and I try to do it as much as possible. But you basically take like an oil that works with your skin. I like to use jojoba or meadow foam seed oil because it works really well to absorb into your skin without leaving like a really heavy film. Um, I use that with my gua sha and I tend to want to do that in the morning when I remember. And that is really good because it mimics, metal foam seed oil and jojoba mimic the sebum, the oil, the natural oil in your skin. So you can add a couple drops of something like helichrysum oil or rose oil if you have sensitive skin. Um, and that acts as a really great hydrator and it's rejuvenating. You can use things like carrot oil, or raspberry seed oil or argan oil if you want to prevent aging and use antioxidants. And you can add essential oils to that if you want to give yourself your own oil concoction instead of buying it.